We are inside the Tahlequah Cherokee County Emergency Management Center. This is where all the information from the flooding is coming into. And Wednesday brought both good and bad news. This is the Illinois River where it comes in. This is the Barren Fork Creek and it merges south of Tahlequah. Scott Pettis and his team is monitoring the situation from the command center and on the ground. He says the Illinois River is starting to drop, but other bodies of water haven't reached their crest. Right now, though, we are seeing uh, the water levels in Lake Tenkiller itself rising, and that's really a concern with uh, folks on the southern end of the county in the Cookson uh, Keys area. Right here is normally uh, camping areas, you know, RV parking lots, stuff like that. Cookson is where Austin Glory lives and works. This is all of our tenants' trailers. And His family owns several cabins in a marina on Tenkiller. He's just about to enter the busy season. Sit and wait, pray a little bit. So, hope that it don't get any higher. This is all parking lot right here. Glory took us out on the lake to get a better look at what the flooding has done to Cookson Bend. It seems all of his docks and boats are fine for now. Back behind me here, it looks like dry land, but if you look off to your left, you can see that this is all debris and trash that has washed in off the creeks into Lake Tenkiller. Local water service in this area is also seeing problems. Area fire departments are stocking up just in case. One pump has already failed. They got us back up at 10:30 last night. We're off since Sunday. Brad Davenport and his family have been taking it one day at a time. They're prepared if water service cuts out again. Well, like everybody, I mean, you just get bottled water and uh, gallons of water, and it, it, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. And the family's home is safe, but Davenport's nine-year-old son Dawson worries about his friends. It's almost like it's a foot away from their house, so they're moving. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is trying to dispel a rumor that the dam at Ten Killer Lake is about to fail. That is not the case. In fact, the engineers say that the Ten Killer Lake is functioning exactly the way it was designed to do. Reporting from Tahlequah, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you.